Welcome back to some more Detroit Becomes Human. You you missed it. Chloe just played a joke on me. She was like, your save file has been corrupted. All serious and stuff. She was like, just kidding. Aw, oh, Chloe, why you gotta do me like that? I'm about to be upset. <laughs> that's funny. She played a joke. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if she's gonna leave or want to leave. Just like the first Chloe. I'm gonna assume that she's going to want to, which is fine. I'll let her leave, you know, just like the first Chloe, but you know, she will be missed. So what I, so the last thing I did was, I think it was spare parts. That's what I did yesterday. So I think we're starting with Kara. I think it always starts with Kara. It's Kara, Marcus. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It's uh Connor. Hi, Connor. Oh, looks like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Did no one tell you to drink like that? You sure this is the place? Yeah. It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Mm-hmm. This little hula dancer. Ah, we're friends! Ha! Sexiest androids in town. Yep. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. I promise <laughs> there was a murder case. <laughs> That's the only reason why we're here. Welcome to All this technology and it's wasted on this. Mm -mm. It's like, look, Connor. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh, just seeing if she was happy here. She didn't look happy. It looks forced. You're worried about your license? There's a dead guy here at your club. It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh, great. I hate Get Gavin. An asshole, just what I, needed. I hate him. I don't like Gavin. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing? You're just jealous because you don't have one. You've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Wasting time. There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Piece of shit. Night, Lieutenant. Piece of shit. Examine. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna puke again. You need to puke again. Get all that alcohol out your system. Two bio components are damaged. Now I'm gonna look at this dude over here. Cardiac arrest. Severe bruising from being strangled. Deceased. Estimated time, 6.24 p.m. You were there at 6.24 p.m.? Like, that's normally pe when people get off of work. He 
didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Oh yeah. Didn't prove anything though. Could have been I a see rough it. play. No. How you gonna rough play with something that's yeah. physically stronger than you? Think you can read the Android? That's method? bad. Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he is he dead? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me. Again. And again. I what begged. else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I I I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't Were you alone know. in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> yeah, it looks like her. Just uh. There was another android. Different color hair. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Maybe. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Like, we waste technology on this? Seriously? Oh, he was just talking about, me, uh, what's her name? North. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. It's for work! <laughs> It's for work, I promise. <sighs> Hello, a 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. I know it's weird, just do it. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Oh, wrong one. Holy shit. What the hell are you doing? I am probing. So she walked to the right. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find That's so way. stressful! <sighs> okay, so she walked by that way. So I'm gonna ask this guy and see if he saw hey, anything. Let's try this one. 
Oh, I should have waited. The conversation between them would have been hilarious. Dang it. So she headed back past that dude on the dancing pole. So it saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Dang, I cut him off. The conversation between them was so hilarious. Androids everywhere. Because how are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. Oh, you didn't see anything. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Yes, she did. There she is. Turned into the red room. Go! The delayed reaction is so annoying because it's like. Yeah, you doing all that spinning and shit. You didn't see no. nothing. I lost its track again. You, Mr. Man, do you know? Ew, you fucking creep. Here's he has the face of a creep. Okay, I got four minutes, 59 seconds. One of you seen her. Move out of the way, big man. Gosh damn it! You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. <laughs> one of y'all saw it. She walked in here. So one of you seen her. Whoa! She turned into the blue room. Which is this way. I'm gonna ask this janitor. I know you've seen her. I can't even ask. Okay. Um. Can can you pan around for me? Jeez. Oh, so you didn't see nothing. <sighs> so no. I guess I should have lost its track again. Oh! I thought it was just them two up in here. Hit in the room. The one that's next to the that one. Okay. Go! Okay, and then now I think I can ask him now. The staff only. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking a. This is crazy. Mind melding, man. We're mind melding. Let's go. <laughs> Wait. I'll take it from here. Okay.
Why would there be traces of blue? Well, actually, I don't know if I don't think he. No, he didn't hit her. He hit the other one, and she is she shut down. So I don't know why there'd be blue blood dripping other than from Smoke. other ones. They get used till they break, and then they get tossed out. They wash the clothes and stuff, at least. But how do they clean them? Like, because I know Connor can check samples in real time by putting them in his mouth. So how do they disinfect Connor? And how do they disinfect the um, androids that are used for sex? Because it's just mm, nasty. So it's apparently always time to look at a book. Always time. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because yep. every Yep, we're gonna Everybody be extinct. Would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Yep. Beats me. Search for the trail. Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. The 
this way. The last time I killed uh, the short-haired one and then in response to that the blue-haired one killed herself. Yeah, see, Deviants died. Apparently you can also, I don't know, it's like later on or something in this in that same scene where when they're both climbing up on the fence, you can shoot them both in the back. Friends! Like, was he okay to drive? Because he was passed out drunk earlier. Didn't even go to Marcus. It was Connor, Kara, then Connor again. But this is like a little short thing, though. There's an Arctic conflict? Why? Anything else? Nope. Just stroll on over. Why are you even drinking right now? Seriously. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Can I? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Yeah, it's just me. I'm special. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. I mean, I think either of those choices would have brought it down. Any progress on this investigation. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Mm, all right, nine. What they have in common is this obsession with RA nine. Oh, an emotional shock. That it's too. Almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? What about me? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really?
I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No! I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Mm hmm. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Let's be logical. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. Man. And have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I don't know. I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. His hand is shaking and shit. I unlocked a path. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Think of sumo. Who's gonna take care of sumo when you drink yourself into a fucking coma and die? I'm just saying. I think the other the other choice is um, Hank shoots you in the face. But I think he only shoots you in the face if um, your relationship is bad.